So this is Armor 3 SWAT by Rug the Gamma. It's a persistent mission more focused on CQB, which isn't quite like other missions, in the sense that the goal isn't just to get in there and clap some cheeks and then get back out. You actually play as like a, a SWAT team, as the name might imply. So your goal is to rescue hostages, arrest everybody, and not kill anybody unless you absolutely have to. As far as I can tell, it's quite heavily based on the actual SWAT games, given the uh, the description of the mod down here. So down here you can use um, the lock target button, which is T, how you spot people, to yell at them to comply. If they don't, you can use non-lethal equipment to uh, try and get them to surrender, or you can punch them. There's bombs in the area, and this is the bit which kind of gave it away, is the toolkit which lets you assemble a mirror for checking what's behind a closed door or corner without alerting suspects. So I've also got a few other mods enabled which will give me uh, like police weapons and the SWAT uniform and stuff, so should be good. Okay, so I spawned in, my task is to set my mission. What am I wearing? Okay, I've got my police uniform. Is that not just the vanilla stuff? Yeah. Let's see what we have access to. Oh, basically anything we want, I guess. Okay, well let's sort by mod and find the police badge. So we have the corner shot system 9x19. Okay, yeah, so we got like a little um, camera on the front of it there for aiming around walls with. That is a big gun for a police officer. And then we've also got the Remington M870 Express, which I think I'm going to use actually. So I'm going to put an ACO on it. I will put a light on it. Do I want the glare light or the normal light? I'll try the glare one and then change it if it's, you know, not quite as good. There is a suppressor for it, but that kind of takes away the fun. Definitely don't want to launch it. I'm going to restrict myself to any weapons in this mod. And there is a 5.7, so I'm more than happily going to take that. There's a taser, a um, short M870. Nice. And this one has a shield. SWAT so uniform, uniform 2. Three, four, and SWAT uniform black. Yeah, we're going for this one, absolutely. So we've got SWAT medium vests, team blue and team red. Ah, okay. So these ones have a ton of armor, but you can't carry very much. And these ones are kind of the opposite. They're a mid-tier armor, but they have a carry capacity to them. I think I'm going to go with the one with the carry capacity, just so I don't have to take a bag with me. So we'll get rid of that, and that'll save us a ton of weight and reveal our uh, wonderful SWAT logo on the back there. We've got a wide selection of um, of rounds here. For a police application, we probably want to be loading buckshot. Though we do have stun rounds. Maybe we should load our shotgun with stun rounds. So what will they be, like beanbags? Or like rubber bullets? Okay, so there's our SWAT helmet. I do like the summit, actually. It's got um the mount on the front of it. That's what you detach your night vision goggles to. And then it's got like um, uplinks on the side, so one of them will be a torch, one of them will be like a, a video camera. Yeah, there's even like a little battery pack on the back of it too, I think that's what that is. What? There's quite clearly a joke here I'm not getting. Um, I don't know if I really like this ACR. It's gonna be better than the iron sights for sure, but I think I'm gonna change that side. Okay, that'll do. It's a pistol or I don't, but it works. It's the, uh, the Yoris there. Alright, so, uh, we've got, we've got Buckshot on this. So let's let stun. Oh god, look at the ammo rack. Okay, well I don't like how the ammo rack just kind of pops back into existence, but the fact that it actually takes rounds from it is actually pretty cool. Damn, I'm, I'm happy I picked this mod up. This seems actually really, really good. I mean, let's maybe reserve judgment for the time that I've actually done one of the levels. And let's maybe ignore the, um, Uma Delicia Rabbit. Okay, let's check out this live fire course. This is the firing range. Firearm proficiency is a top priority for any SWAT officer. But never forget that SWAT is a life-saving organization. You are only authorized to fire in defense of life. It's bad that that made me really tempted to just shoot the guy, isn't it? it does sound pretty meaty. Oh 
Okay, I like that. Wow, okay, so the 5-7 went straight through this deal. That's pretty cool, actually, because it is like, um, supposed to be an armor person design, right? Get a magazine. Ah! So these boxes have a script on them, which gives you a magazine for your currently equipped weapon. So let's see, is this going to give me, um, more buckshot or some stun? No, give me buckshot. Bomb defusal, breaching charges. Okay, I can see how this glow light might get a bit difficult in a low light environment. Yeah, I'm going to get the other light. Yeah, that's much better. But this is, of course, why we do training and why we test stuff. Valid charges of shotguns. Oh, can we breach? Okay, so we have non-lethal equipment here. That doesn't look very non-lethal to me. But apparently the, um... Why am I carrying this grenade? Let's just get that over there. Yeah, apparently this white smoke is tear gas. Oh yeah, I've just tear gassed myself. So it forces you to unequip your weapon for a while. Oh, that's really cool. See, so we need a toolkit to do bomb defusal. Can't actually carry it. Um, Yeah, I might need a bag for that. Okay, pick up the toolkit. And defuse the bomb. Can a terrorist win? Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's assemble a mirror. Uh, I need to enable picture in picture to see the tablet. Uh, okay. Alright, there we go. Oh, that is really cool. You just walk up to the door and then suddenly you can see underneath it. I kind of get how it works, like it's a camera a little bit in front of you. So you literally just see through the door, you see how it's like clipping through it there. So I can also use it to see around corners, which will have the same sort of effect, right? Hmm. Not really. I can use it to see through walls, though, which is a bit cheaty, so I might not use this. Welcome to the grenade range. Practice throwing your non-lethal grenades for a while. You can test your accuracy by throwing them through the windows on the structure. You can also test their effectiveness by throwing them at Cadet Wilson. Wilson has volunteered to experience precisely how non-lethals affect suspects in the field. Oh, poor Wilson. So, valid non-lethals. They don't look very non-lethal to me. Let's just take ass him a couple of times. We've also got a, uh, a gas mask we can wear so we don't get affected by it. Have a lot of that, Wilson. Yeah, he's not having fun. Oh, we can pick what kind of mission. Uh, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Fix TV. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's showing the airport, actually. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I also found out you can't go outside the hangar, either. There's like uh, an invisible wall. Which is a shame, I kind of wanted to go and investigate what's over there. Anyway, let's choose our mission. Mission Airport, Construction, Storage, Gas Station, Village, Lighthouse, Secret Mission, or Yell for Compliance. Okay, let's keep with the airport. So we've got Entry 1 and 2, I think I'm going to go for Entry 2. So we've got Barricaded Suspects, Hostage Rescue, Rapid Deployment. Yeah, let's go for Arrest and Secure. Oh, so it's actually really customizable. My team's trophies. Nice, nice. Okay, let's uh, start the mission. 7 8 Adam, this is Central BCC. Multiple SWAT units responding code 3 to command post at Gridley and Bronfield. Barricade hostage situation. Okay. I like this. The sniper has targets, you need a UAV terminal to take control of that. There's somebody shouting at me. That's probably worth mentioning as well, this mission is completely compatible with co-op. I'm just kind of coming in here on my own. Okay, well he's shooting at me. Drop your weapon! Get those hands up! Get them. Drop your weapon! Get those hands up! 
He's running off. Okay, this is actually playing a lot like the SWAT games. I can't see through there. No, I didn't want to swap. I wanted to turn my damn light off. Oh, he's dropped his gun. He's on the ground. Okay, so how do I arrest these people? F. I punched him. Yeah, how do I arrest people? Ah, here we are. Okay, so is that a civilian I rescued? Or did I just get intel from that guy? Ah, civilian spotted a position of another civilian. So that guy wandered off. He left his gun on the ground, though. I should realistically... Oh, yeah, secure evidence. Yeah, I was I was absolutely right. This plays exactly like the old SWAT games. That door's open, which I really don't like. Oh, it's barricaded. Okay, never mind. Okay, plus breaching charge. I don't have one. Damage barricade. Damage barricade. Damage barricade. <laughs> okay, so I definitely need to properly sort out my, um, my LUD out here. Yeah, I don't know if I can get through this, actually. Oh no, there we go. Oh, I just saw a guy run past. Drop your weapon! Get those hands up! Okay, so he surrendered. Police, put your hands up. Why are you yelling at me? Let's just get this guy secured. There we go. Drop your weapon. Get those hands oh, he actually got back up and picked his gun up. You did not shoot at an officer. Okay, he's firing again. Police, put your hands up. I should probably, um, patch up that bullet hole. These stun rounds don't do anything. Okay, maybe it just decreases their morale so they can fly more. Yeah, okay. I don't know if the, um, the stun rounds on the shotgun are the way to go. Okay, so I've revamped my loadout. I've now got buckshot in this thing, instead of stun. Because it'll actually save my life instead of just bouncing off somebody's head. Uh, I've got my toolkit. I've put a gas mask in my bag, as well as some explosive charges. So I don't have to stand punching a piece of wood for an hour again. Okay, so I've set the, um, the level up pretty much exactly as it was last time. Barricaded suspect. Around the airport. Only difference this time is I can actually put people down when they need to die, and what the... What on earth happened there? Somebody. You know, I could be using my NVGs for this, couldn't I? Yeah, let's, let's try the NVGs for a little bit. Just while I... In fact, nah, never mind. It looks cooler if I use the torch. I'm also getting shot at. Oh, I see the guy right there. Alright, we should be okay. Let's just get a charge on that. Prepare for detonation. Okay, let's breach this room. Get down! Hands in the air! Just get me out of here. Alright, let's get this serve craft. Police! Put your hands up! Don't shoot. Is another one we can get down? Okay, now we could go along the top over there and try and get that guy that was shooting at me before. But I am kind of worried about somebody coming up on the stairs behind me. So let's just clear down here quickly for- I'm definitely gonna have to use the NVGs in this little corridor. The bigger rooms, I can use my um, light in absolutely. 
Get those hands up. Somebody isn't complying. Okay, yeah. Just NVGs. Start shooting. Drop your weapon. Get those hands up. I'm down. I'm down. Okay, he better stay there. Drop your weapon. Get those hands up. If you want to live, shut your door. They're winning. Drop your weapon. Get those hands up. I give up. Get back. Get back. Drop your get weapon. Back. Get those hands up. No. Okay, there's definitely a range to shouting. Just handcuff this guy quickly. Trying to cut my hands. Drop your weapon. Get you those right hands up. Silent. I ain't dying for this shit. Come on, ball there. Get those hands up. Okay, that was authorized use of deadly force. Good. Hands in the air. We're going down. Next time. Just watch it. Drop your weapon. Get those hands up. Again, authorized use. It's much easier when my shotgun actually does something to them, isn't it? Why would he do that? I'm just making my rounds arresting his friends and he just picks up his gun and fires at me again. Just give it up. Okay, I do need to secure the weapons that these people have dropped. It's quite bright in here. Yeah, it's curious evidence. Okay, then there's a guy over here with a gun, and then one out the other window. Just need to watch my corners. I did just hear somebody else shout that they're out of here. Just want to secure that gun. Taking fire from up top again. Let's get the rest of this ground floor secure and then we can move on. There's a Sif here. Police, put your hands up. Don't shoot. Let's just arrest him. Make sure, yeah, he's a safe, he doesn't need to be, like, locked away or anything, but we arrest him for his safety and our own. Where did you come from? Maybe he was the one who's shooting at me from upstairs? Okay, three suspects left. Let's push up. One at the back. Another one there. Oh, I can't stun him from this wrench. Or, like, shout at him. So let's get the gas mask on. I've loaded that, you twat. Oh yeah, he does not like that, does he? Alright, I didn't actually kill that one. Let's get more tear gas down the back there, just to keep his buddy, uh... Down. How is that unauthorized? He fired at me. Okay, there is another one back here somewhere. Drop your weapon. Get those hands up. Okay, let's just arrest this one while he's tear gassed. I want my lawyer. Tell it to the judge. And there's a weapon back here for me to secure. One suspect left. And I secure evidence. Get out of here. Now. Somebody upstairs. Let's a charge there. Always go to the side with chargers, don't stand in front of them. Generally you'll be using shaped chargers, but... Shockwaves and stuff, you do not want to take any of that. There he is. Drop your weapon, get those hands up! Drop your weapon, get those hands up! Drop your weapon, get those hands up! Come on, drop it. Drop your weapon, get those hands up! Drop your weapon, get those Come on. I will put a hole in you. Drop your weapon, get those hands up! They're winning, huh? I just punched him. Get those hands up! Stop him! Drop your weapon, get those hands up! Idiot. Oh, the trigger discipline though. Okay, so now we can just um oh there's a civilian spotted. So we're gonna go get the sieve. That's our objective for now. 
Damn, okay, I am really enjoying this mod. I'm definitely going to play more of this. Uh, well, I've already got this, Sev. So what do I do now? We didn't go outside, actually, did we? There's no suspects left, because the, uh, the chat told me so. So I guess I just run over here and see if there's a Sev in the back. Uh, let's put our last charge on there. And detonate. Oh, oh, over there. Yeah, there's a seven here. Oh no, I'm out of charges. Okay. Let's just punch this one to death. In we go. You've got to stop, though. So is that one barricaded as well? It is. Ah, oh, here he is. Let's just arrest him. He's seen somebody else just pass this wall. Okay, it looks like I'm battering down another barricade. Oh, I can spam it actually. Does this work? It does. But I have been in here. How did I not see this guy? Okay, guess I need to learn how to clear properly. Great work, entry team. Time to head home. Yeah, wonderful. So my score was 85, and a silver trophy for that one too. I mean, considering it was my first try, I think that's pretty good, right? So if I come over here... Yeah, there's, there's my um, trophy, Airport Barricaded Suspects. Silver trophy. It's a second place trophy as well, that's pretty funny. So we've got a ton of different missions we can pick from. Like the construction store, yeah, I went through those already. And a ton of different um, mission types. So yeah, I'm definitely going to play some more of this.